Is it a rattlesnake? Or something of the lizard variety? No, that's just the extra, 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 extra long barrel for UK law on what would be a very short, if you're in Turkey, bullpup shotgun. Whoa. Hi guys, this is Rack and Load, and you've probably seen the range time video of this. Uh, it's certainly created a few comments. Um, yeah, it certainly did. Um, positive and negative. Uh, I think the main negative thing was about the barrel, but we're here in the UK, so it's the whole gun has got to have an overall length of 42 inches. Yeah, I get that, that it sort of, you know, is detrimental to the fact that this thing is a bullpup and the idea of a bullpup is having a shorter system but it is what it is we're here in the uk so you know if you're in another country that's got different laws that you know especially turkey because this is a turkey shotgun where they make them you're gonna barrel's gonna be about there and this thing is gonna be a right short little number look at you look at you but it's not all bad, it's not all bad because this thing with a barrel like this is an excellent slug gun. Bear in mind that the barrel is all the way to there. So that barrel is like huge. It's a huge barrel. But anyway, let's sort of look away from that if we, if we can. It, it's all right, the, the, the muzzle's just in another postcode at the minute uh, as I've moved it. I've, I've got it sort of sticking out the rat cave window just to video this. Um, right then, allow me to introduce you to the Hunt Group FD12 Bullpup Semi-Automatic Gas Operated Shotgun. Now, you've got to, you've got to admit guys, I know people are like, oh, Turkish shotguns. They're not that bad, you know. Years and years ago, I had a, what was it, the Hatsun MPA. That thing was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, that shotgun was. I don't even know why I got rid of it. I think I just got rid of it because uh, I need, before I was an RFD, I just needed the room, you know, just to, I think I just upgraded it. For, but for the price that it was, it was like 450 quid here in the UK. The Hatsun MPA. You couldn't go wrong for the money. You really couldn't. Yeah, these days there are better shotguns, you know, uh, around the same price, you know, Stoger M3K, um, et cetera, et cetera. So you can't really knock, knock them, you know. Um, don't knock them till you've tried them. That's all I'm going to say. And I've got to say, I was really, really, really sceptical about this thing. Firstly, because, yeah, I'm a left-hander and this... Although it does say on their website, it can be used left or right-handed because you can actually swap the charging handle around. You, trust me, you don't want to use this thing left-handed. You really don't. Unless, you know, uh, you want to rearrange your face. There ain't really a lot of room there to put your cheek. Um, no, no, don't, I'm, I'm not going to advise it. In my testing, as you can see in the footage, I shot this thing right-handed. And to be fair, it was for me shooting right and it it weren't ba weren't bad it was really quite comfortable but i'll talk about more of that um, shortly first of all we'll throw out uh i say specs i haven't got that many specs on it actually even on um even on hunt groups um website it doesn't really give you that much specs, gas operated, uh, 76 millimeter or three inch chamber, full of aluminium um, body or receiver. Uh, it's given barrel lengths, but this is, isn't is UK. Um, magazine capacity, okay. Two round, five round, 10 round. So I'll show you them. Let's talk about the mags actually first. So this is a section one shotgun, okay, because it has a removable magazine. So there's your two round mag. There's your five round mag. So your two rounder, let's just put that in. Ugh, bit stiff that one is. So that 
pre pretty sort of discreet, isn't it? <laughs> You'll see where I'm going. And then your five rounder, which I've preferred out of them all, if, if I'm honest. Um, that is still usable even if you're shooting this thing off a bipod, you know, if you're doing a bit of slug shooting. That looks quite good, again. And then you put, <laughs> you put this thing in. Oh my God. Look at it. It just goes a bit, I don't know. <sighs> yeah. What can you really say about that? What can you say about it? Leave a comment. Anyway, <laughs> so there's your 10 round magazine. I ain't leaving that in because I ain't got the room. So I'll leave the mags out for now. For ease, I'll talk about the magazines and I'll just show you the two rounders. So they are really nice magazines. Steel in construction, nice and solid. Pretty much exactly the same. It almost looks very similar, that logo does, to Typhoon Defense's uh, F12. Very, very close to it. This is the FD12. Okay. I think they call it the Defense 12. Okay. What a interesting, what an interesting shotgun. Okay. Very interesting shotgun. Let's just give it a normal rack and load review, okay? But like I said, these are available in the UK. This is a UK spec one. You know, people are gonna knock them, but people are gonna knock this thing. And what you've got to remember is, if people didn't bring this sort of stuff in, we wouldn't have cool stuff coming in full stop, would we? So you've got to give, you've got to give companies credit for bringing stuff like that, people will, will love this. And I know in the comments of the range time video that I did, people absolutely love this thing. Okay. The main the main beef that people have got was with the, the length of the barrel, but we can't avoid it. We can't avoid it. So anyway, let's take it from the top, guys. Going from uh, do you call it a stock on a on a ball pup? I don't know. Let's go from the recall pad end. So you've got a nice soft ventilated i think it well yes sort of semi-ventilated recoil pad really quite nice loads of sling um options there uh, you've even got a qd um uh hole there to throw on a qd sling so that's really cool hunt groups logo underneath and on the sides there all aluminium uh the body of it is, or receiver, stock. Um, it is quite a weighty one. I haven't got a weight on this thing. I'll put that in the details of the video. Now, you haven't got much room, if you're a left-hander like me, to put your face on this, on this side. With the ejection port being there, you really don't want to be this side of it because this thing absolutely throws out the cartridges. It must throw them six feet away. Okay, you really don't want to be in the way of it, do you? Especially right next to it. Yeah, you're getting a bit of fire every now and again, a bit of uh, powder out of there as well. You just don't want to be there. Okay, so you've got to shoot this thing right-handed. Plenty of real estate on there to get your cheek down. My only gripe is you're right next to uh, the bolt release there, okay? So your cheek is on that, depending on how you sort of get down on it, but it is what it is. Magazine release there. I, I do like this. It's sort of like a ambidextrous uh, mag release. Uh, let's sort of show you a bit closer. Oh, nearly smashed on the light there. So there's, there's your mag release there. Press that, but you've also got this lever uh, on the other side as well. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Magwell there. I wonder if someone will come up with a Magswell for it or a big Magwell, whatever you call them. wonder if Magload's watching. You know, there you go. 3D print and Magwell for that. <laughs> um, and then on, on the other side, again, you've got another option here for a sling. So 
loads of options for throwing on a sling. Oh, another QD mount there as well. So loads and loads of options, really, really cool. And then you've got a nice um, sort of space here to obviously get your hand. Uh, pistol grip, rubberized, AR-15 in style. You probably can, if you wanted to, swap that out for an AR-15 one of some description. Um, like I said, charging handle is on this side, but you can swap it out if you want to. But you may want the charging handle on this side and whatever. You, you, I don't see the point because you can only, like I said, you can only really shoot this thing right-handed. But there's the charging handle. Let's just give it a, okay. I can't really do it off camera. I ain't got enough room with this thing being such a beast. Okay. And you can lock it open just like um, an AR. So you can lock it open and you can release it by pressing that as well. So there you go. So that locks it closed. That I found um, pressing the bolt release when you've got a magazine in and you've just put a, a new magazine in, sorry, uh, after shooting it, and you press that, I found it wasn't closing. It, it, it was, it's like there weren't enough welly to sort of strip a cartridge off the magazine and load it in. I was having to sort of just give the charging handle a bit of a tap forward just to assist it. Um, the, yeah, then moving on, we've, we've mentioned the, um, the pistol grip. Uh, Trigger guard, all aluminium, all moulded in. This, as you can see, is ball pop. Trigger ain't that bad, actually. It ain't that bad. Uh, we'll give... I say, you don't really notice it. You're almost shooting this uh, shotgun. You're almost sort of bracing yourself anyway and giving the trigger a bit more of a pull than probably what you should. Uh, we'll give that a pull in a second. My gripe about this thing, apart from it being a right hand um gone only is the safety catch and i found this exact same problem on the f12 the typhoon industries f12 it's very sharp okay it's pretty sharp and when you've got your it's ambidextrous i'll give them that but when you've got your hand in position like that okay it is clear i know i've got my finger on the trigger but that digs in imagine this thing's bouncing about as you're pulling the trigger that digs in and after a bit it starts to hurt it'd be better if they'd sort of swapped it the other way around i don't know it'd just be a little bit better don't you think yeah it would comes with obviously um well i'm, I'm sort of jumping ahead here picatinny rail you've got like a quad along the top you've got a big length picatinny rail there but you've got quad picatinny rail so you've got top sides and bottom as well it does come with this forward grip um i say a vertical grip or you can adjust it you can have it like that press the button and fold it up he says so that comes with the gun as do the pop-up sights no they're not magpul or anything but it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. You you know, looks a bit better with them with the sights popped up like that. So yeah, really not bad at all. You know, the, with the bits that you come with, comes with a sling as well. I've not got that with me. Comes with, um, I believe it comes with all three magazines. So that is really cool. Oh my god, I can't get over that thing. <sighs> they don't look so bad when they're in like in a an AR. Uh, an AR platform do they these 10 rounders but when they're in a, a ball pup configuration it's just they just look insane <laughs> funny really funny um so yeah you do get you get like I say you get a sling um you get all the bits and pieces let's have a look you get a tool as well which has got that's pretty cool it's got like their uh hunt groups logo there or the logo that is on the uh on the shotgun so that's a a tool for sort of doing various bits on it um yeah just 
for what you get, it's really cool. It comes with a plastic case as well. I'm, I've not got that with me. I've had to bring a load of stuff down here. I've got a lot of, lot of work to do in the rat cave. Um, different colour variations. This is the one that I've got on test, obviously. Uh, I really, really... <sighs> I really do like it, if I'm honest. Um, like I said, I was really sceptical. And I just thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to shoot it being a lefty. But it really weren't bad. It really weren't bad. Uh, bad. It was quite, shootability-wise, it weren't weren't that bad at all. It's quite gentle. Although when I watch the footage, it is quite jumpy. But you, you almost don't feel it, because obviously the action's right back here. Literally... Your face is is the other side of where everything's happening. I mean, usually it's here, isn't it? Your face is back here. Everything's happening there, but you're right by it. And I thought, oh, it, it's a little bit unnerving. I know, you know, you shoot ball pops, you, you get used to it, but a, sh a 12 gauge ball pop, you know, throws out a bit of welly, doesn't it? You know, and when it's happening right next to your face, it's like, whoa. But, you hardly notice it. You just get a bit more smoke than usual, um, especially after the last shot when the bolts held, held open. You, you tend to get all the smoke in your face. But oh, the smell of burnt gunpowder. But yeah, really cool. Let's give this trigger a pull just for fun. If there's any trigger snobs watching, seriously, this is a shotgun and it's a ball pop shotgun. So prepare to probably cry. I ain't even gonna guess. Let's give it a poll. No, I don't think I've cocked it. Hang on. That'd help. Right, let's try it out again. You ready? Oh, <laughs> it went off the scale. Seriously, it went off the scale. Ugh, that has never happened. When, oh my God, seriously. Let's try and do that again. Is that me or what? That can't be right. It is an insane. Oh, like, right, we're at, we're at 10 pound. I don't know, it's off the scale. I don't want to break my, break my trigger puller. That is a hard trigger. Off the scale on the trigger pull gauge. That is a first in the rat cave. Congratulations, Hunt Group FD12. You are off the scale, your trigger pull is. Oh my God. <laughs> Moving on <clears throat> to the manual. Okay, so the manual is not bad. It's in English which is a bonus with this being a Turkish gun, but they've made just an English only um, manual. And tells you how to field strip it. Now, I'm not gonna do that. No, sorry, I just, I ain't gonna do it. I'm, but it kind of almost strips a bit AR like. I'm not gonna do it guys, cause it's just, I'm just gonna have bits everywhere and I'm sure there's other uh, YouTube videos out there on how how to do it. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> should I? Do you reckon I should? So. Mm. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. It's, it's long-winded. It'll just take me ages. But yeah, there you go, guys. The Hunt Group FD12 Bullpup. Gas operated, semi-automatic shotgun. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. That is your Rack and Low review of the FD12. See ya.